Florida is now entering its second week under the state's full phase one reopening. Restaurants, retail stores, hair salons and gyms all open to limited capacity. Beaches and state parks packed. I feel like they're handling it pretty well because I know that people are getting antsy. Um, a lot of people are coming outside regardless. More hotels and larger gyms are scheduled to reopen this week. Universal Orlando is reopening June 5th. The big question a lot of people are asking now is, can we go to phase two? And if so, when? Hundreds of Floridians continue to test positive for coronavirus every day. But according to the state, the percentage of positive cases and the number of hospitalizations is going down. Under the state's reopening guidelines, the state would be allowed to transition into phase two if it wanted to. But public support on this remains mixed. I think we're running a risk. I think there's been some percentage rise in some of the states that reopened quickly. If it's an open place, people will go. If it's a very close, small place, people might take a second thought. The decision on when and how we transition into phase two remains in the governor's hands. So far, Governor DeSantis hasn't said what his plan is. In Orange County, Kelsey Thorid, WESH 2 News. We first interviewed Matt Dobrovolsky and Greg Nyduck last Thursday. These pass holders and theme park buffs both came to CityWalk on its very first day back open. Now, just one week later, Universal made a huge announcement saying it wants to reopen its theme parks on June 5th. So we thought who better to reach back out to than both Matt and Greg to see how they feel about the news. I'm very excited to get back there. It's just going to be a really great time. According to Universal's plan, the parks would slowly begin to reopen to certain guests on June 1st before the public a few days later. All visitors and staff would be required to get their temperatures checked before coming in and everyone would have to wear a mask. There would also be social distancing markers throughout the park. Nyduck says he's okay with all those precautions. I'm not going to be affected by it at all. I'm, I'm all, I think everybody's kind of used to wearing masks, just you know, going to the grocery store or whatever. Universal's chief administrative officer mirrored that sentiment, citing how guests have responded to CityWalk so far. I would say that our guests have been very supportive of the process. We're not hearing a lot of complaints about that or the masks. I think they're, they're very happy to be able to get out. Dobrovolsky says the only thing he thinks could turn into a hassle is the temperature checks. The handheld, yes, it works, but efficiency wise, it's not going to work when you have thousands of people going in there. Still, both told me they'll be there the second these parks reopen. Are you guys going to go out there once they reopen? I believe so. <laughs> Do you think you're going to try and go out there on the first day it, it reopens? Oh, absolutely. Absolutely. Now, clearly those two are excited to get back to the park as soon as possible. This reopening plan, though, is still not 100% official. It still has to go through Orange County Mayor Jerry Demings, as well as be approved by Governor Ron DeSantis. In Orange County, I'm Kelsey Thorid, WESH 2 News. Cars on the beach chairs in the sand and people in the water. Thousands of people flocked to the beaches this Memorial Day weekend, many saying it felt like things were finally getting back to normal. It's the first time I've seen this many people in a long time. Of course, coronavirus remains a threat. To try and keep everyone safe, the beaches are still recommending people limit groups to no more than six and stay at least six feet away from all other groups. Today it's just my husband and I, so it's a small group for just us, but yeah, it seems like everybody is um, thankful to finally be able to get out and do more stuff. Now, the conditions of the ocean didn't play well with all of the extra crowds out here for the weekend. Volusia County says they made more than 300 rescues just on Saturday, and we actually saw one ourselves right when we got out here. But even with the poor ocean conditions and the overhanging threat of coronavirus, most of the people we spoke with said they were happy to be back out on the beaches again. It's like, okay, do you be afraid of it or do you go on about living daily life? I mean, you got to hand sanitize and keep clean, but you can't stop living. In Volusia County, Kelsey Thorid, WESH 2 News. A 
group of Disney workers is calling out Governor Ron DeSantis. When the governor says he is fixing things, he is lying. The governor is not telling the truth. The local union, representing 19,000 Disney World employees, says 30% of its members haven't gotten any unemployment benefits since they were furloughed back in April. So I've been working at Disney World for 12 years so far. I've been paying my taxes. Uh, I'm an American citizen and I haven't got a single penny for eight weeks. Workers blame the Department of Economic Opportunity. I can show you my phone 45 times over six hour period on hold for an hour and 50 minutes. Talk to somebody and be cut off. According to the DEO, over 92% of claims have been processed and over 97% paid. If the information from the government for the state of Florida is correct, then everybody here is a liar. I don't think that's true. Kissimmee Mayor Jose Alvarez personally invited Governor DeSantis to come speak with these workers. You need to come out here and stop hiding behind offices and big companies that you do your, your press conferences from and actually come out here in the street. We reached out to the governor's office for comment. They sent us this statement reading, ensuring eligible claimants receive their reemployment assistance remains a top priority. The governor's office will continue to work with the Department of Economic Opportunity to ensure the needs of Floridians are met. In Osceola County, I'm Kelsey Thorid, WESH 2 News.